Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so, so much for tuning in today. If you are new, please consider hitting the subscribe button and becoming a part of our family. And if you are oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. So as you can see, the pile for my fall decor is still pretty big. So we are going to work on that today and we are gonna decorate the kitchen and the sunroom. So the first area that I wanna decorate is my credenza. This credenza, I love it. It is from Wayfair. I'll have it linked down below. It's gray it has mirrored doors it's beautiful and I love that it gives me top surface to decorate in this area because before this area was pretty big but also empty and up against a wall so I wanted to put something here that I could display my decor and also it houses all of my white serveware dishes um, so I love the piece but you guys know with the little toddler huh, the fingerprints on the glass so here i am cleaning it off with some windex i'll wipe off this top surface and then we can get to decorating And the first pieces that I'm going to put on are these beautiful glass and chrome hurricanes. I purchased them from Home Goods, you guys. They were amazing, amazing. I'm so glad I found them. They're in one of my recent home decor hauls. So if you haven't seen those, check those out. But I love them. So beautiful and classic. The next thing I am going to do is I'm going to put this blue vase also from Home Goods. Now, I do accent the main level of my house with different hues of blue. It's kind of hard to find the exact shade of blue all the time. So I mix in different hues of blue and um, I found this vase it was very inexpensive about $16 from home goods so I am going to put some fall foliage in them now these branches came from um, Hobby Lobby and they were a great deal I believe they were like 50% off when all of their fall stuff went on sale so I think they are called lamb's ear but I just like them they go with my decor it's kind of like a frosted leafy effect so I love those and then these pumpkin stems you'll remember these from my entryway decor video but these came from Hobby Lobby again I got them like 40 or 50 percent off and I was looking for the blue ones but I couldn't find them so I, I settled on the gray ones and I absolutely love them um, and you'll see later on that I'm I don't feel like this arrangement is is full enough so I'm going to add another um lamb's ear but very inexpensive i also used um coupons now these blue candles came in a twin pack from home goods they were very inexpensive i, I believe i paid like 10 or 12 dollars for, for them but i'm going to sit these in the hurricanes just to add some more blue to the decor and they are candle holders so i needed some candles in them and next you will see me adding another stem of the lamb's ear into the vase i just wanted it a little more full i wanted that frosty leaf effect and i wanted it to pop a little more and this is actually the last place on this level of the house that i'm going to put a fall uh bouquet so therefore I was okay with using my last stem and next it's time to fill the center I got this beautiful dish from the at-home stores it was only $19.99 and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it but I absolutely love it it's it's the shape is so beautiful and it was inexpensive so I knew I wanted to put some smaller pumpkins on there so I had these um, from the Target dollar spot some of them I had for a couple years some of them I got this year and I painted the stems on the ones where the stems weren't white um, and so I just want to add four or five of these to the center and I think it's going to come out really really pretty I like the effect of having the small pumpkins there but I'm also going to add some larger ones as well as you can see these are so beautiful and they come in handy and I love that they're soft so if my little one picks them up or throws them on the floor it's not going to be a casualty And next guys I wanted to fill in the gaps these large pumpkins came from home goods and I believe Hobby Lobby as well um, the large one in the back I painted the stem it had a brown stem so I painted the stem um, white and I'll show you a clip of that in just one second 
And guys, this is a major decor hack slash tip. If you find a piece that you absolutely love, but it's not in the right color scheme, just ask yourself if it can, if it can be easily modified by craft paint, acrylic paint, or something like that. I mean, I keep this white paint on hand. I also have silver um, craft paint as well because those are the colors I typically use in my house. I have sample paints of the blues that I've used on the walls and stuff. And so I will change the color of items that I absolutely love and absolutely have to have if the colors are not right for my decor or my um, color story or my color palette so this was a quick simple cheap and free actually because I had all the, the materials myself way to DIY these pumpkins and now they fit perfectly within my decor palette and next let's work on the empty space there to the left I'm gonna put this ceramic pumpkin I believe I picked this up from TJ Maxx or home goods I think it was TJ Maxx it was inexpensive as well I only purchased one of them because I'm trying to limit my uh, breakable decor because of my little ones so I'm gonna put that on a high surface that she can't get to and these acorns I got from Hobby Lobby they're part of the Robert Stanley collection and they did come in gold copper and chrome of course I got the chrome but I absolutely love it and then this white sensational white pumpkin candle came from I believe home goods oh no nope, tj maxx and they were um 12.99 and i'm not a big fall scent person but this one smells clean it's it's just a hint of the pumpkin so i absolutely love that as well and then of course guys it's thanksgiving time it's you know fall time so i wanted to add um, an element of a turkey there so i had this chrome ceramic one again it's on a high surface that baby girl can't get to so i'm going to add that in with those pumpkins there and so as you can see i mixed the kind of textures on this i used some plush soft pumpkins some plastic ones some ceramic ones just to give it a a nice even balanced look and so i'm going to remove the tags on everything i'm happy with where everything is and clean up the space and then we're going to light the candle and just as a final finishing touch I had this pack of blue and brown leaves from the Robert Stanley collection at Hobby Lobby I only had two blue leaves left because I used some on my entryway bench and so I'm going to tuck these under some of the decor and have them kind of spilling out um, just as a, a, an, a last touch. I, I absolutely love them and I wanted to maybe paint the other ones. Maybe next year I'll paint those white or paint them silver or something. So I'm going to hold on to them. But I just like the element of like surprise. It's just an extra pop of decor and, a, and, and I just love it. So I'm going to use those because I've purchased them. And now I'm going to sweep up all of my mess. And guys, the final step in this uh, area is to light this beautiful smelling candle and enjoy. So here we are. Alright, moving on. As you can see, my pile is getting a little sparse there, so that's a good thing, guys. We are going to move on to decorating this sunroom table. Now, this is the Z Gallery Timber table. I absolutely love it. I'll link it down below for you again. The chairs are also from Z Gallery, and I absolutely love them. Um, I'm going to just give the table a fresh wipe down. I do allow my guests to eat at this table as well, so I have to be smart in my decor because I oftentimes have to move it as well to let people, you know, sit comfortably and eat. But I'm going to give it a 
wipe down and then we are going to start the decorating process the first thing that I want to put down is this absolutely gorgeous table runner from the from the uh, Tahari home collection I purchased it from home goods it was $24.99 it's gray it's like a, a fleecy kind of material it's just so beautiful the beading on it is just perfect it's gray and silver it goes with my decor I absolutely love it I was first looking for a blue one but like I said it's hard to match all the different hues of blue and the best I could find was a teal so I returned that one and when I returned it I found this one and I just had to have it so I'm going to give you guys a close-up view of it on the table as well but here I am just setting it in place and then I will build my vignette on top of it all right guys so she's in the perfect position the first thing I'm putting on these are my Nicole Miller turkeys I found these a couple years ago from home goods they were um, $19.99 each worth every penny you guys I absolutely love them they go out every year no matter what and so I'm going to place these with space in between them um, on the table runner and then I'm going to just add on to the decor from there but I love them they are silver they're kind of sparkly they're huge they're just perfect And next up are these beautiful light blue ceramic pumpkins that I found from, I believe I got these from Home Goods. They were so, so pretty. And you'll see later on that they match the um, kitchen towels that I'm going to hang on my double wall ovens perfectly. They are so beautiful. So I had to have these. I purchased two of them and I'm going to stick them in the middle. I'm going to change the position a, a few times until I love it, but they absolutely have to stay. And then next, I keep these on hand. These are uh, candle holders from Raw they're 10 11 dollars i have them in all different colors white marble uh, chrome i want to add some height and dimension to the table so i'm going to add those there and then i'm going to add of course some blue candles to pull in some more hues of blue because the pumpkins are light blue so i wanted to pull in some of that navy blue as well i'm going to add these candles again i get them from home goods for very inexpensive 10 11 dollars and most times they come in a twin or um, a pack of three with different heights as you can see i'm playing around with the pumpkins i ultimately settled on this uh, position for them because I, I feel like it looks more organic and more natural they're just laying on each other i had the ceramic aisle left and I'm going to put the owl right there um, and I, I love it I absolutely love it um, I'm also going to add another candle but this candle is really really special you guys it's my first ever wood wick candle so I wanted to show you guys that you'll see that in a second and then these are the place settings that I leave at this table now the dishware came from um, Dollar Tree I absolutely love them I, I thought about changing it out to a regular white plate but I absolutely love the blue it brings in another color of the blue and then um, the chargers are from Z Gallery and then the placemats both of those are from home goods I've had them for years here's that candle I was telling you guys about it is called warm fireside it smells so good but the thing I was most happy about and and excited about is it's, it's a wood wick candle I've heard so much about these wood wick candles and I wanted to give them a try I burned it for the first time you'll see and it's absolutely amazing I love the crackling effect these are some uh, Tahari home napkin rings that are blinged out and these are some kind of like organza gray um, napkins that I purchased from Z gallery on clearance years ago I could only find four of them so I have to find the other two off camera so just know that there'll be six on the table eventually but for purposes of this video I didn't want to waste time on that but these uh, blinged out rhinestone leaf shaped napkin rings are absolutely amazing they were $13 from home goods I bought two packs because um i needed uh two packs i have a tape a table setting in my formal dining room of six as well so i wanted 12 but they're absolutely am amazing beautiful um and they just add that touch of glam that i so love And guys this is my favorite part let's light this baby up i just love the crackling sound again it is just so warm and cozy it reminds me of cold like fall and winter uh, nights and i absolutely love the smell this is warm fireside again if you guys don't have a sensational brand candle in your life go get some they're from tj maxx and marshall's and also home goods they're very inexpensive and if you can find a wood wick one go ahead and get it
and guys I'm gonna call this space complete um, again I do let guests eat here so this is how I'm gonna leave it and then moving on in the kitchen I'm not gonna do too much in the kitchen these are some Ray Dunn uh, kitchen towels that I was telling you about that those light blue pumpkins in the sunroom match perfectly with I'm gonna take down my kitchen towels that match the dishware from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna replace them with these which I absolutely love and then um, I'm gonna move on Okay guys, and on my cooktop here, again, this is a functional space right here. I found this beautiful threshold pumpkin pot. It's ceramic from Target. It was only $19.99. They do have two different versions. There's a taller gourd version, but I wanted this version because it was all white and I loved it. Inexpensive $20, you can't beat it. And so this is going to stay there. Moving on guys, I finally tried the Mrs. Myers line of home essential cleaning products and let me tell you I am 100% a fan. I got the dish soap, the hand soap, and then the multi-surface cleaning spray that I have been cleaning my counters with non-stop since I got it. Here I'm showing you the apple cider scent which I absolutely love and I have two soap dispensers from Home Goods that I'm going to fill with dish soap and hand soap. I'll label them off camera because they are very similar in color. I'll use my Cricut machine and label them off camera but I'm going to fill them up and then put them back on this cake stand which is from the Target dollar spot and place them over by my sink And guys, the last space that I'm going to add a touch of fall to is my kitchen island. Now, this is a huge functional space for us. It's where everyone gathers. We actually eat here. So I'm not going to overcrowd it with a lot of decor, but I am going to add this blue ceramic uh, fall dish that I had. I believe I got this from Ross years ago. And then I have the falling leaves scent of the Sensational Brand Candle again from Home Goods. I'm going to give that a light. And then I'm going to just add some really um, plush, small um, pumpkins from the target dollar spot I'm gonna add those into the tray I may move them later and add like some fall flavored candy like apple and caramel or something there for the guest but I didn't want to overcrowd this space because like I said we eat here everything uh, ends up here this is like a catch-all space for us as we're coming into the house so I didn't want a lot of decor here because it was either gonna get messed up or broken but you guys, I absolutely love how um, the kitchen and sunroom area turned out. Let me know down below how you feel about it and whether you love it as well. Um, the last space that we need to decorate is the family room. So that video is going to be coming up in a couple of days. I'm going to show you what I did in there. And then it's all about Christmas, you guys. I'm going to start fluffing and flocking and doing all those things to the Christmas tree. So stay tuned. Like I said, if you are new here, my name is Buttons. I love all things home decor and lifestyle. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell button so that you are notified every time I upload and if you are a oldie but goodie I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one bye